Hello. This is Ringo, and he's been a star of pretty much every show that we've done in the last month. Um, and I'm going to talk you through about how we got there and what it is so special about him and about the way we train young dogs. He's five months old now, and today he's going to have his breakfast delivered in front of you. Right, not from the bowl, but I'm making a point of delivering the food. No treats. Food, main food, which goes all into my pocket. As you can see, several hundred of those kibbles. This has been happening for the last four weeks. Right, basically how this goes. To start with, we will just run a very simple warm-up. Warm-up that will tell this puppy that by following me and following instructions, he gets his bills paid. So to start with, things are fairly simple. So he follows the hand in a circle, he does the simple Twists and twirls. Good boy. Nice. And waves. Good. And waves. Excellent. Right. Moves up and moves down. Good. Nice. Moves forward and moves back. So the first few meals were purely. This. Now, what happened then? Uh, for a period of time, Ringo started practicing commands. Commands like taking the heel position, coming to the front, come, good boy, Ringo, come, good boy. Well, obviously putting them together would look like so. Ringo, around, beautiful, nice, and front again, and sit. Good man. This way. Down. Sit. And sit. And stand. Good boy. And sit. Well done. And dig. So this is our vocabulary builder. Now, after a period of time, and having all this done, we've added lots of fancy little elements into it. Fancy, like, say, a little crawl. Good. And a rollover. Good. Good boy. Obviously, we do go both ways. Ready? Over. Nice. Over. Nice. Good boy. Take it this way. And curse. Nice. Good boy. And pause. One. And the other. And the other. And the other. Good boy. Well done. Followed by the whole series of states. State. This was the very beginning of it. State. Good. Until we slowly progress to stay. Walking away. Stay running away, using distractions of all sorts, until stay has become stay, an ultimate command. So I could start doing stay, things that stay, that I would want to do with a dog in stay, in any position, with anything going, happening around. Now, the whole section of hand feeding is devoted to the dog learning to connect biscuits with me rather than just following food the whole time. So now what I'm saying is, there's nothing in my hands but you will get rewarded for following me as kind of a, an obstacle to getting the food. So this way, good. This way, good. Well done. So you can see that now the lure has become a reward. So ring go in, in, good, and reward which immediately follows. Ringo, finish, 
Good boy. Now, back to the heel work. So with all that happening, so you can imagine what finger would do if there is nothing to follow there, such as food. Steady there, ready, heel. Walking the dog that understands all the concepts of the hand feeding is a pleasure. Looks like this, works like that. We're not far from the main road and he's been a star. Right, bring it this way, bring it this way. Right, so where do we go from there? Now we started using emergency. Emergency control commands, very, very interesting. We are in a real life situation, we're walking around, Ringo, heel. Suddenly he hears a sharp command, stay. That was a very good one. Stay. Ringo, down. Good boy. He can come from anywhere, I could be a distance away, so he could be asked to perform, stay. Sit. Good boy. Command from a distance, stand. I like that, stay. Stay. <laughs> stand, stay. Stand, stay. There you go, stay. Good, stay. Nice, come. See what happens if we put a recall together with that emergency, stay. Okay, stay. Okay, stay. Okay, stay. Okay, stay. Can you see how well programmed he's become? Right, the whole section of exercises based on do or not do something. This kit for him, this kit not for him. No. No. Good. That's yours. No. That's not. Down. Good. Stay. No. training is the dog learning to stay still. This is fairly simple. The dog just chills, gets rewarded, allows me to touch him, gets rewarded, allows me to touch the collar, gets rewarded, allows me to have the lead put on, gets rewarded, stay there. That's a good boy. Touch, reward, stay. Teeth checked, reward, reward. Now, so far we've been through about, I don't know, 60, 70 different skills, right? I'm using two, three kibbles at a time, so the biscuit of, oh sorry, the dinner of three, four hundred kibbles does take us about ten minutes. Now, and we're just about running out of it. Now, people ask why hand feed? I think this speaks for itself. He's five months old now, started his training about six weeks ago. For those he was hand fed, you know, the whole time. Now he gets his meals normally, like any dog would do in the kitchen from the bowl. And Ringo, come over here. We got a delight of a dog. Something that well anybody would want to spend their time with. He demonstrated the puppy class. He goes to our intermediate school to show his advanced staff and the devotion and the reliability. Good boy, stay there and he can't have enough. Giving a choice, I'll tell you, he would always want to work. More than that. With or without the food, he's become a fantastic dog that is pretty much set for life now. Right? He's traveling to Africa today. Unfortunately, yes, he's leaving the UK. The owners have bought him to export from the country and hopefully he'll have a nice and happy life. Well, from this moment on, we've done our job and thank you all very much for watching. I hope you can copy his little act and benefit from it yourself. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.